Hello! This time I'd like to say a few words about the smart magnetic panel. This time I'm not going to focus on things that I've already covered in this foundational article from five years ago. If you're unfamiliar how smart magnet rigging works, please go to our website, read the article and see all the associated videos. In this presentation I will try to cover all the newer features and just the panel itself in greater detail. So if your panel is not open in flash, you can go to window, other panels, smart magnet rig and it will pop out. If you work with Animate CC, it's a little different. It's under Window, Extensions, Smart, Magnet Rig. There you go. Now, the first feature that I'd like to show you is how to load rigs and to accentuate on the fact that you can load multiple rigs in the panel. This button here reads what's in the current frame, in the current timeline, and loads the content of this current frame. As you can see, this is the reindeer rig and from the drop down here, we can see also the heron node representation. So the heron's rig was also loaded. A newer feature would be this drop down menu here, which allows us to rename the rig. So instead of HRN, I can type heron and press rename as you could see the rig was renamed if we roll over an element you can see down in the status bar of the panel there's some information about symbol name id and so on if we control click a node the actual symbol will get selected on the stage. So what else? From the menu there's an option to export and to import a node model. If you have another four-legged creature that shares the same structure as this reindeer, you can export this node-based representation and then load it in the panel and use the same thing for say a horse or a giraffe. If you look below the line, there are three tools which I'll cover in a different video. These are all rig repair tools. But in this video, I'll show you how to use Spart Break Apart. Now, just to quickly refresh your memories about the various tools in the panel and how to use them, I will quickly convert this traditional flash build, which is basically a bunch of symbols with proper registration. I'll convert these into a smart magnet rig. So to start with, I need to place the center markers and the magnet targets properly. So that's what I'll do. First magnet target that snaps to the center marker of the child. Center a magnet. I'm using the smart magnet joint to help me snap the targets properly. should be all and now all the targets in the body so first one for the wing and for the other wing for the neck for the legs the tail okay now I'll create a new rig I'll call it bird. I will start by adding elements for the neck and the head, the tail, the two wings and two elements for the leg and the foot. Two elements for the leg and a foot. So this is the structure of our bird. Now using the link tool I'll select the body which will be our master parent and go with the tail, the neck, 
the head, wing, the other wing, and then legs. Click and click and another click and finally this foot. Now I'll save my file and I'll test by moving the main body element to the side and then applying smart transform and smart magnet joint the body assembled correctly. So it's uh, all good with the rig. So this was just a very brief recap of all the tools used to convert a traditional flash build to a smart magnet rig. And finally, I'll show you how to use smart break apart. It's uh, absolutely crucial to use smart break apart in such a situation if you're using Animate CC, because any normal break apart will get rid of all the smart magnet metadata. Flash CS users, you probably can get away with normal break apart, but Animate CC users, you must use smart break apart. So here's a sample usage scenario. I have a walk cycle here. This duck walking across the stage. And from this moment on, I would like to break apart and get out of the cycle and animate the bird just stopping. So let's look inside the symbol first and see what we have inside. We have a container that holds 24 frames and inside this container we have the actual walk cycle uh, where I've used the service frame at number 25 so 1 and 25 are exactly the same and I also have a bit of a have a, a graph with um, the individual offset of the of the feet for each frame and I could have had any number of non-rig elements, just uh, notes and things. So this is my walk cycle, which has been nested inside a container that only shows 24 of those 25 frames. And on the outside, I've tweened this thing. And I want to stop just here. So I'll create the key and then I'll break apart using just a normal break apart to release the outer wrapping. So basically this will be frame 21 of the actual symbol. So I've released the outer wrapping and now the actual walk is what is about to be broken apart. And when we have direct access to the actual walk where all the layers contain the symbols which are a part of the smart magnet rig now I shall go to the menu in the panel and choose smart magnet rig break apart the command pops up a dialogue asking me whether to delete the guided layers if you remember the little graphs inside with the offset for the feet so I say OK and it can also delete any non-rig elements if you say OK what you end up with is the exact same pose but all symbols are now individual so we can create a folder and we can just drag this up there and distribute these to layers. Now when they're distributed to layers, I can delete all of these and start animating the stopping, which will be breaking out of the cycle and settle with a bit of an overshoot and whatever is needed. 
I think that this covers everything about the panel, except for, of course, the repair tools, which I'll talk about in a separate video. Thanks for watching.